twa, twa, twa. It do not matter. Clip on the ruga, look like a ruler. Okay, so I'm back, and before the video starts, it's greatly appreciated when you want to like. So please like, comment, and subscribe. This video is a bunch of tiny topics in one video. The first topic, random as hell. I, I'm not gonna lie, I don't really think I'm here for it. I don't. So as you know, Camila, she was in House B last season, and like I guess she missed baddies or something she said uh i miss my little sis turn up for me or should i pull up honestly please pull up mm -mm 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 -mm. and don't get me wrong love camila love camila she made me a little irritated after the reunion but other than that i like camila um her pulling up now just makes no sense the only person she got beef with is roly i'm pretty sure she's gonna want to swing on roly i don't think roly should be fighting right now you know because the whole new body stuff do y'all think roly in there fighting or no so then we have Smiley. She went and posted a picture with Diddy. I'm not surprised, honestly. I'm really, I'm not surprised whatsoever, honestly. And then she went and said, we outside at Diddy. We ain't worried. I ain't moving for 250. Fam, stop lying on the homie. Okay. Not gonna lie, I didn't really have high expectations anyway. So it's, it's kind of like I'm not even like disappointed, irritated. It, it's like, yeah, to make sense. It makes sense that Smiley the one that posted it. Then we have DCV, aka Diamond the Body, or Diamond, whatever you call her. Somebody snatched her wig off. <laughs> I'm here for it. Who snatched it? <laughs> Who snatched it? Now, when I tell y'all I can't wait for these episodes to come out, bro, I, it's I, to me, these videos been born. Honestly, other than the wig, she looked fine to me. Diamond must have put their ass in a headlock and tackled them on the floor. You know what I'm saying? Because that's her specialty. Then we have Roly and Honest, so apparently they back cool. But honestly, I don't know if they back cool or they just drunk, but they dancing with each other in the club. When did this happen? I don't know because even at the beginning of filming, Honest was still throwing shade at Roly. I'm, I don't. Am I here for this? I don't know. But, but honestly, I'm kind of irritated because first, I don't know why they didn't show more interaction between Roly and Honor at the reunion, which I would have loved. But we're not even going to get this round on the season either because uh, they cool now. And Ro I don't even think Roly could fight. And I mean, like, you know, because she just had surgery, not because, like, she just can't fight yet. Yeah. Now, Honor, she made another post. I don't think it have anything to do with Roly, but she, well, it says, beware the person who stabs you and then tells the world they're bleeding. She said, wrong girl to try to cross and lie to. Then she said, the girls that that TV stuff get to their head, they be mad when they wrong. Who? Is that Mariah? <laughs> so then we have Cash and then Cash Dog. Cash from now that TV and then Cash Dog, the rapper. We Y'all know who Cash Dog is. So remember the network we talked about a while ago, Unexpected TV? Cash has a show with them now called Cash Dollhouse. It actually came out today, if I'm not mistaken. But Cash Dog, the rapper, she said the name is Cash Dollhouse. Now, Cash, she went and said, yes, I'm Big Cash. It's my shit. What's up? Calm down. Calm down. And now, Cash, doll, she was like, you right, Big Cash. LOL, I was just asking. Now, I'm trying to make sense when I say this. I don't think it's called Cash Doll House. I think it's called Cash Doll House. It, am I making sense? Hopefully, I don't know if I just sounded stupid or what. Either way, I do feel like Cash did a little too much. It was, like, what? Right? Then Cash said, not like that, you big, big Cash. I thought you was trying to sue me. I ain't know what was going on. All she said was, is it called Cash Dollhouse? That's all she said. You did too much. Speaking of Cash, we have her mom. Her mom wants to fight her. And Cash wants to fight her mom. I mean, pull up and fist fight. Like, punch, punch, like, fit fight. So, Bree and Cash, they've been going at it, right? Because I think Cash is mad that Bree got a show on Unexpected TV. But it's, it's kind of like... Girl, if that's your friend, be happy for your friend. Because, like, what the, what the fuck? Like, if Brie have a show and you have a show, y'all should be, like, celebrating together that y'all both landed a show. It's, don't that just make sense? Like, go out and party together instead of... I don't know, child. Now, is these two new characters, where did they come from? I don't know, but it's two studs, right? So, Cash's girlfriend is a stud, and I think Brie girlfriend is a stud. One name is Seven, one name is D3, something like that. Yeah, I think so. Mind you, Brie was there for Cash's show. Like, she filmed the show... With Cash, I seen them jump some girl in the closet together. Where did this break? I Like, what? <laughs> like, what? So it's Brie and her girlfriend, and then Cash and her girlfriend, they going back and forth. And then Cash and her girlfriend ended up taking a Greyhound to Brie and her girlfriend, Airbnb. I guess they was out of state. So they get to Brie and them state, right? One of Brie's friends told Cash exactly where Brie was at. Like, dropped her location. Why would you drop your friend location? What the f Who does that? Cash and them pull up. I, people was like they pulled up with guns and a bunch of people they ran through the airbnb bringing her girlfriend they in the bathroom with the door locked they did not come out the bathroom after everyone was talking shit on instagram including brie y'all know how brie talk 
why didn't they come out the bathroom? I don't know. Well, well, maybe it's because people were saying they got guns and a bunch of people and stuff like that. But either way, I don't think Bree is beating Cash like whatsoever. That would go so bad. But Bree, she never came out the bathroom when Cash was there. Uh, I think later that night, Bree found where the, her friend at that dropped the low ended up beating her up. Not Cash, but the friend that dropped the... Yeah. People like, oh, you should have did that to Cash. I mean, yeah, they should have fought too, but it's like this girl did drop her location. She should have got her ass whipped as well, if you ask me. Now... Every time Bree and Cash get into it, somehow the mom gets into it. And honestly, a couple months ago, like before I started talking about Now That's TV, I went down to Cash and mom, her mom, like a rabbit hole. The shit they say about each other is crazy, y'all. Like, some of the shit Cash was saying will make your stomach turn, especially, like, from a relationship with a mom, a daughter, and a younger daughter. It's like CPS, uh, jail. It's <laughs> but this time, Cash, mom, she's on live. And apparently Cash slid in her mom DM saying, take Brie Faye for her. Like, if you want to defend Brie, you can fight for her. It's her mom. And then the mom with it. The mom said, wanna... what? What the fuck? All of a sudden, her and Brie get into it. Hey, Bookie. Brie, I'm over here chilling. They say, Mama Faye, Cash and them got guns, all this stuff. I said, I'm not in it. I'm not in it. I stayed over here, y'all, jamming, drinking my drinks. Next thing you know, Bree come over here. Hi, Bookie. I said, Bree, you and Cash are wrong. I said, y'all was on them shows. I said, y'all are wrong. I said, but I'm not in it. I love the both of y'all. But get out of my life because I ain't in it. I go in my inbox, bitch, you got me fucked up, that's why I hate you, woo, 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 um, I hope you die slowly, um, and you can run that Brie back, Faye, that's what she said. You know what I told her? I said, I put it on my story. If they would have read it, but I don't got to prove that's on my dead son, she said it. So, I say, you know what, Imani? It's cool. I run Brie Backfade. But be use a Marquetta. You're jealous of her having a show. And I don't give a f My enemies are not yours. You a little petty ass bitch. And you have a good life. And I blocked her. It was disrespectful for both of them. Regardless if it was Cash Show. Her and Brie was friends. They shouldn't have been on there acting like that. And Brie said, you know what, moms? It was. She apologized. Cash the one went all crazy. I'm not finna keep letting that bitch come at me like that. I'm grown. I'm the mama. You literally can't make this shit up. It's like, like y'all, you and your mom talk to each other like that? Then E.T. and her PR person. Okay, so first of all, I thought this Hazel lady was E.T. manager. And someone in the comments was like, uh, that's not E.T. manager. I'm like, yes, it is. But the whole time it's not. So my bad. To that person, my bad. It's her PR person, not manager. So the Hazel lady, um, she posted a message. I'm guessing one of these people she sent it to was Scarface, I think. Actually, I think it is because E.T. showed the same message. Yeah, okay. Um. So, the, let's read the message. It says, hey, ladies, I love both of you to death, but respectfully, I choose to remove myself from this situation and do, oh, and not do any further business. I came to both of you individually asking for honesty, and now everything is just a real uncomfortable feeling for me. I was genuine in everything that I did. I spent a lot of time, money, and connections, and I know that I don't deserve to be used. Any connection that you've met through me, I encourage you to continue to use them. I... I have no ill will towards either of you. I am going to fulfill the 30K agreement and obligations that I did with Dr. Trev for you. And here is all the other bookings that are in negotiation. The booking with Isaiah, Girls Trip Reality Show, April 4th through 9th, Miami, Florida. So, E.T. was supposed to be the host. Like like we said, isn't Dr. Trev the uh, the man that did her teeth? That was a promotion. Didn't E.T. say she spent 50000 on them? Or did she just say they called or they're worth 50000 I don't know. I don't know. 
doesn't really matter. I care about the girls trip. We, I knew that was her. Anyway, then the Hazel lady posted, please stop. A year ago, when Liddy called me and asked me to help you, you came to me crying that the network set you up. I think she's talking about now that's TV, by the way. I used all of my connections to help you, and you turn around, lie, and stab me in the back. Mm. Apparently, Jonathan was one of her connections. All these other people, I don't really know. She was like nails, hair, post eye massages, and manager. You stabbed me in the back for my connections. Professional photo shoots, my connections. Studio time, my connections. She said 30 to 50K, $1,000 new smile. Not possible without me. So did she pay for it or no? Because if she was paying for it, how is that a connection? Because wouldn't she just go book an appointment, pay for it? Because, child, I don't know. I don't fucking know. She said every play that was used to make you and your career better was through my connections. And you never even said thank you. Who the fuck raised you? <laughs> I'm sorry, that's funny, because why would she... She said, you went to two auditions, never once been invited to a Zeus party. I was personally invited and got you in. Nikki can vouch for that one. I put you in different rooms. And after everything I did for you, the least you could say is thank you, but you are a user and you are a grimy individual. You have crossed everybody that has been there for you. And turn around and play victim from Natalie to Roly to uh, Isaiah to Networks to now me. I tried to walk away gracefully, but you are a different type of liar. Now, I'm going to show y'all the live that E.T. did in the live. She said that she actually fired this lady. But in that message, it kind of sounded like she left. I don't know. But she said, never once told me I was fired. Never once said anything to me. Never been real. I walked away. Stop lying. You asked me to dinner with your mom and asked me to not walk away. Said, please come to Atlanta with me. She's talking about um that boxing match just, now that CV just had. Yeah. She said, only to mistreat me when I got there. I always made sure you were straight and you never wanted to pay me is the real part. Oh, my bad, y'all. This is my first time reading this stuff. Okay, sorry. So, but she said, I always made sure you were straight and you never wanted to pay me is the real problem. You wanted me to be your manager when you needed your teeth done or anything else, but behind my back, it was always something different. You and Nikki both lied, if that's the case. You said you told other people, but when did you tell me anything? Never, because you are Scarface the Snake. <laughs> Scarface the Snake is crazy. Now, somebody that she mentioned uh, doing the whole connections and stuff like that, Went and responded to her. Went and responded to that story and said, "Because you only know I did it for you. So which one is it? Hmm. Who did? Who did that? Little messies. Who said that? Now, Et she go live basically responded to what Hazel said. Right? She said Hazel is her PR person, but the jobs that fall under a PR person, Hazel was never doing. But then you got Hazel saying Et never paid her. So it's kind of like, is she paying you because you're not doing your job, or are you not doing your job because she's not paying you? It's like, what the fuck is it? Also, E.T., okay, remember how Hazel was saying was that she left, but E.T. was begging her to come back? E.T. is saying, no, you left, and then you ran back to me. Oh, who's lying? I don't know. And E.T. was like, she only made it about money, money, money. Girl, the money was going to come. Um, <laughs> so you didn't pay her? What does that mean? E.T., she like, I'm not the only person that you worked with and stopped working with. Why you ain't post about Tommy? Why you didn't post about DJ Scott? Now, the first text message that we read... Um, E.T. is saying, yeah, you sent me this, but it was on, like, the 16th or something like that. But then you came back, and we was back talking on the 28th, and you showed the message from weeks ago when we was just cool a few days ago in Atlanta. That's what she's saying, okay? Did, I, did that just make sense? I think so. Basically, she's saying, like, don't post a falling out between us if we already got back cool after that, you know? Yeah. So neither one is denying that she left and came back, right? Is the after she came back. Did she leave back again by herself, or did E.T. fire you? That's the question. Oh, yeah. Here goes um E.T.'s laugh. Here you go. So Bitch, don't you ever think you're going to play with me on this fucking internet? So, since somebody wants to say I'm defaming their character, this is my only time ever going to say this about this woman, because it's irrelevant. Let's go there. A PR is supposed to pull... Your pictures from events that they invite you to so you can put it on your platform. A PR has a certain title that they're supposed to do that a ain't even doing, first of all. Second of all, people are hitting you up because they see me and they go to my page and it says, go to this person for my sh Second of all, no, you quit and ran your ass right back before I went to Atlanta with Isaiah and Tilo now. My manager made me have a meeting with her. And I ain't got to say no names because just know who I'm talking about. Why would she post that? That's unprofessional as to post that. Unprofessional as There you go. Then on top of that, 
was trying to, it was all about money, 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 money. Bitch, the money gonna come, ho. But for you to sit there and post, just start working with a lot of clients. Why the you ain't posting Tommy? Bitch, why the fuck you not posting DJ Sky? Why are you not posting a lot of clients that you have had and have gone away? She's working with Ivory. I guarantee she start working with Ivory, she ain't gonna make no mother posts. First of all, what happened to your lip? A bitch hit me with something. Yeah. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I have receipts. You know me. You're going to post a screenshot of what you are saying. Post the whole thing with your fucking date. Post the mother date. March 16th. March 16th. Yeah. March 16th. Yeah. Bitch. Yeah. This is March 28th right here. March 28th. When I was just in Atlanta. Yeah. Yeah. I text Taylor and told him, do not go to Hazel through Hazel with anything dealing with me. Go contact my mother manager or me. Go through my manager or me. Do not contact Hazel for my information. You were fired. So this is T. Let me show you how the T. So I'm out there trying to figure out, you know, my options. You know, I've had a lot of meetings with a lot of networks who want to work with me. Give me shows, do shows for them that they've already had ideas of. And I'm just like, okay, I'm I'm listening, but I, I like to find out what's best for me. Y'all know me. I don't just jump into everything. I really got to take my time. So I'm like, okay, ain't nothing wrong with going here, things out over there. Boom, I get out there. I'm telling my manager, like, you know, I wish you was out here. You know, it, it's not right because, you know, I haven't even been working with Hazel. I, I, I don't understand. Like, she want to come back, but I'm not cool with that. Boom. My manager like, you know what? My flight is for Thursday. I'm going to change it to Wednesday so I can be there for you. And we can have our meetings. And sh Boom. She, she changed her flight. Then this goes, turns around. And she's like, oh, she didn't have any meetings. Like, why would my manager come if she didn't, you were, she wasn't told she was going to have meetings. Then sat in my face and line and said, we were supposed to go somewhere. And she said, your, uh, your manager told me to tell you to wait on her. Well, first of all, why would my manager text me that and tell me to wait on her myself? Then I'm like, okay, this bitch sitting down, eating food. I warmed up mine. I sat right next to her, called my manager on speaker. How long are you gonna take? Cause they finna leave it. And they and they said that you and they said that you said to wait on you. I, I, I didn't say that. Oh, if you found this video interesting and I hope you did, please like, comment, subscribe, share, turn your post notifications on. Thank you.